Let's say we're asked to find the slope of the line given below. We can observe that the line passes through negative 4, 3, which is this point over here, and 2, negative 1. Now, there's two ways to looking at this line. We can either look at it from left to right, which is the way you really want to look at graphs moving forward, but the slope of the line will not change regardless of which direction we go in. So let's say we choose to go from negative 4, 3 in the direction of 2, negative 1. Remember that slope is always given as a rise over a run quantity. So in order to get from this point to this point, we see that we would need to go down by 4 units, and now we need to move to the right by 6 units. So our rise is negative 4, our run is 6, the slope is always given by the rise over the run, negative 4 over 6, which simplifies to negative 2 over 3. Now let's say we had decided to go in the opposite direction. Let's say we started at 2 comma negative 1 and we moved up to negative 4 comma 3. The slope is still given by the same relationship, rise over run. But now, since we're starting at this point, we're rising by 4 units. Remember, if we're going up, that distance is always measured, or that movement is always measured as a positive quantity. Now from here, we would need to move 6 units to the left. Because we're moving to the left, that's always given as a negative quantity. So the run would be negative 6. Now remember that the slope again is rise over run. Here we divide 4 by negative 6. Reducing this fraction, we get negative 2 over 3, which is the same slope we had earlier.